So if you don't understand what I just did, clip gain is pre-fader. So I turned the clip gain up of the intro so that it feeds into the compressor plugin hotter. So then I can get the compression I want for the drums. And then I turned the fader down for that section because we want it to be at a certain volume before it kicks into the verse. Get up, get up, put your clothes on, honey. It's all about that signal flow. So I told you guys this. You just don't, you just don't listen, do you? I told you it's about signal flow. It's about signal flow. I want that part to be emphasized, to shut the fuck up. I want that to be emphasized, but the way I'm doing it is I'm turning the clip gain down because it's pre-fader, so it feeds into the compressor less hot, so the compressor does a slight movement which keeps that kind of pumpy effect, and the overall result, if I turn the fader up to compensate for the gain, is it's, it's more punchy. So sometimes reducing it on one end to feed a compressor differently, and then increasing it on the back end of that is what makes things a lot punchier, so I'll probably that up too. Alright, so let's just leave it at that, but is that giving you guys an idea of how to approach it? I know the rest of the song is still there, but let me know if that makes sense. I'm going to quickly do an A-B between um, the references first. What's our level at? Are we at minus four? Yeah, there we go. So it's funny. I wasn't looking at the meter at all, but we got it around minus 14 by luck. So there you go. Sometimes it helps. Again, I, w I was definitely going by these references, so that's probably where I was able to ballpark it. But let's listen to the original mix now and go back and forth between the mix and the master, so... You can hear the difference, right? Oh, here we go. 